right, we have added a chat, uh, big blue button session, and we have added a chat. Now we are going to look at how do we add a forum discussion, okay? So we pick the forum discussion from the list of activities. Uh, here it is. And then, okay, we give it, we give it a name, okay? Forum types. Best for, or best for IB, let's say assessment. Okay, so then we say in this discussion, required to okay remember we said um we should i think we have given an example of where students ought to read something or to watch a video or something okay so we can also say um read the article on forums for assessments by Okay, hey, say Mona and the nineteen. Then give your views on the type of forum which you would. Okay, I always recommend that because in a forum discussion, you do you you want to make it an interaction, both between you and among the students. So you want to make it very clear in the instruction here to say, okay, um, respond to others. Posts. And they reply to their <coughs> response on yours. Okay, so I just want to put it there. And um, okay, the type here then we do have we do have one, two, three, four, five types. Now I want to make use of this um, help here. Because this everywhere you see this question mark, it will help you just uh, describe the, what each option entails there. Like a single simple discussion, topic which everybody can reply to, okay, cannot be used with separate groups. Each person, each person, the option of each person post one discussion. Each student can post exactly one discussion, and everybody can reply to. Question and answer is that everybody must um, first. Um, so they must first post before they can view others' posts. Standard block like and open forum where everybody can start any new discussion at any time. So this is now what one need to determine, okay, what would be the ideal one for assessment? And um, for this purpose, um, I would pick each person post one discussion, okay? And then we move to availability, okay? So you need to enable this, and then you need to say this is okay. Unlike in the other activities where it's talking about the opening, the here we start with when does that activity start being? Uh, I mean, when is a due date? For for so quite often this can be confused with the opening, but this is not opening; it's a due date. So I will say maybe you need to discuss until the fourth of. I mean the 15th of July and do take note that unlike the synchronous sessions of big blue button and chat forum is an asynchronous session and it can have more time so if 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 you can have at least 72 hours or two days I mean 
three days, four days, even a week, depending on the nature of the course and depending on the nature of the activity, pre activity, what students are going to read first, and so on and so on. So just note that it's not like the, 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 the synchronous activity where you mostly have one hour or just two hours, but here you have not even a day, it's enough, you can have more days for this one because it's asynchronous, okay? You can choose to give students um, option to attach files or to count, to limit them in terms of words. Yeah, this is, can be really handy, especially, especially if you want to say just word count. This can be handy, especially um, when some students um, would want to post almost an entire A4 page of stuff and so on. So, or, or, or the attachments, but sometimes it's also handy when we really, depending on the nature of the course, you want students to attach some stuff to support what they are talking about, okay? Subscription and tracking, now this is very important. Um, this setting here, you need to set it to forced subscription. Now you will be able to click here and then you get what are the other options and details, but the forced subscription is the most ideal one because it makes sure that every student see the notification about this. Um, okay, read tracking, you will leave it at optional, it's fine. The discussion locking also leave it at, um, okay, at, at, at um, default. The whole forum grading, all right. I think here you would need to indicate whether you want to, if it's a for marking activity or a grade and assessment activity, you need to choose point. Okay, you must make use of point and indicate how many points are you awarding to this one. Okay, depending, okay, it all, it all depends. There's no one size fits all to these settings. It depends on the nature of your course and the nature of activity you're putting up. So if you wish to make it a graded activity, then you can put the points here. Maybe it's worth 10 points. By default, it's 100, but it can be 10 points. Okay. So like in my case, I will say, no, it's not for assessment. So I'll leave it to none. Just take note, if it's not for assessment, you leave it to none. Um, the rating, I also leave them for now. I'll just touch on the key settings and you will see that the rest of the settings here uh, are the same. But with regard to this forum activity, I want to draw your attention to activity completion. And the, my recommendations are that you pick um, student show activities complete when condition are met. And um, obviously, student must view it. And then secondly, uh, you would want student to, not just to post, but also to reply, and, and also to post replies. It might be, let's say, post one discussion is fine. Um, okay, this is created discussion. And this one might be at least four and this one we also make it at least four depending on how many students are there and then you can give a due date here when you expect all this to be done so it's quite necessary because you want everybody to to keep up because if you put a due date it will help your students to it will appear on the uh, upcoming events on the calendar and then to keep reminding them of that is due in case any student maybe didn't see it. Yes, this is it. Uh, once you are done, you can simply click on either save and return to course. If you save and return to course, once you are back to the course, you will see it here. And this is how the student, you see the, the condition you put, they are appearing here so that students know when um, what is required of them. And if you click on it, this is it. It will, it will ask them to add new topic, new discussion. Until next time, uh, this is it for the forum discussion.